In today's video we continue using rubber band attachment to solve mission challenges and we are working on uh, 2050 world class competition challenge. Uh, it was a very interesting mission where you have to push the element here and depending on the color that you have uh, that you get you must take the corresponding loop. Now that's a very interesting uh, mission and it is basically solved with a color sensor or a light sensor but today we are solving it without any sensors and only with the use of attachments with rubber bands. The mission was quite challenging because there is a random element here when you push the attachment it is always a different color and depending on the color you get the different loops the challenge is uh, and there was uh, one one thing for the mission that this whole module must turn at least 360 degrees so it must make a full circle so you can't just push it very very slightly and get blue you must push it at least to 360 degrees like this uh, we're going to try to solve this mission by pushing it at exactly 360 degrees so at the start you have blue here and then we push it exactly to a 300 degrees no sorry it was red we have red here at the bottom and then we push it exactly at a 360 degrees and we get red and then we know at the start of the competition what is the loop that we have to take it does not depend on what color we draw because we know that we are going to draw red and that's the challenge and uh, this is where the rubber band attachment comes in now as for the attachment it is quite complex but very interesting it has uh, a number of interesting elements but first let me demonstrate it only the attachment we have an axle and whenever we push the axle we get this element here that is pushing the mission model then we load it again and push the axle as you can see there are no motors here it is only one two rubber bands and this is actually the attachment now when you're at the competition we have the border and uh, this mission model was placed something like this very very close to the to the border something like this so the idea is that we program the robot the robot moves it reaches the border and then by pushing the robot to the border we actually push this axle here so it goes something like this let me just load it now it's loaded and if i move to the border let me just find the right angle so that you can see it on the camera when i push we have this part here pushing the whole mission model again I load program the robot it moves on the field then we reach the border we push to the border and the attachment is activated again it is a pinless attachment so we can just place the robot on top of the attachment very easily that's it and now we can program the robot. We have the mission element here. And let's say that we have it for red. So red is the color which is currently selected. And we would like to turn the attachment at exactly 360 degrees. We load the attachment. We move. We reach to the mission element and we slightly push now 
it would be difficult for me because I have to hold all the elements because they are not attached to the table. But when I push it, you can see that it actually turns at 360 degrees and we have the red again as a selected color. Now let's go into more details on how the attachment works. Now I've zoomed in so that you can see the attachment clearly and closer. So um, first we have this attachment, a pinless attachment. So we have our pinless mechanism here and we can put the robot over the attachment like this. Done. No pins involved. That's the first inter interesting thing for the attachment. The second is the triggering of the attachment. The triggering is done with this axle here and we have a rubber band and this rubber band has a warm gear attached to it. So actually the warm gear is attached with the rubber band to the axle and as you can see, can you see, we have this gear wheel right here and the warm gear attached to the gear wheel and this warm gear is not letting the gear wheel rotate and when we push on the axle we'll release the gear wheel and we'll start rotating again i'll load the attachment the go the gear the worm gear is stopping the other gear wheel from rotating and now when i push the axle we are releasing the attachment and the gear wheel rotates. So that's the second interesting part from this element. Third, mm, because we are pushing and we are pushing to the border and pushing is all, all, always involves some kind of force. What happens is that when we push the whole attachment bends like this backwards. So when we place the attachment below the robot, we add these elements here that are stopping the attachment from bending. When we are pushing, it's not bending. So it's, we don't have this movement here. And finally, we have this large wheel over here and I'll get in more details about this in a second. Entering into more details about the attachment, uh, we have this large wheel attached to the axle and this is actually a flywheel. This is where the physics come to work and uh, there is a lot of physics involved in, in flywheels but I'm not gonna stop on this currently. I'll just demonstrate it and in the description below I'll give you more links about other resources that we'll build about flywheels. But as you can see now, if I release the attachment, we have a very slow movement like this. If I load it again now and remove the wheel, this large wheel over here, and if I now release the attachment and I, I push the axle, uh, what will happen is that this part here, it will move very, very fast. Like this. So the slow movement is actually because of the flywheel. Well, not only, we also have the gears that have some ratio and they preserve power, but in connection with the flywheel, we make the physics work, but again, we'll stop on the physics in some of the next videos. Now let me stop here because we are over 10 minutes now and or about 10 minutes. And in the next video, we'll enter into the attachment. We'll deconstruct it and I'll show you the exact way that it works. There is a rubber band inside that makes this movement and with the flywheel, we receive this slow movement of the attachment, like this. It's very interesting. Check out the next video.